Hey, what's up YouTube? We're back. We're continuing our very, very beginner idea maker, uh, basically intro videos, how to videos. Uh, if you're coming from Prusa Slicer like I did, this will be uh, different. <laughs> it is completely different, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's, you know, you'll play with it and you'll be good to go. But again, here's the uh, build platform. Uh, last video we showed you, we imported profiles. So that way you have some profiles to work with. Uh, this video will show you to import a model. Uh, import the model. We'll pick uh, a me because it makes it simple. Thank you, veteran, for the awesome me mini. Um, and again, we have the normal zoom in, zoom out using the wheel. Click and drag will move the camera around. You do have camera options up here in the top right hand corner. So if you want to see the under view, there you go. Um, <laughs> From here, we have things like pan, and uh, the first real one is move. So moving again, left and right, back and forth, up and down, and reset. So it does have the nice draggy tools. You can manually enter how far you want them to move left and right. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's simple, works. Let's go ahead and hit reset. Rotate, just like Prusa Slicer, does have these fancy halos that you can drag and rotate in any way, shape, or form that you desire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and reset that. Next up is Scale, which in the beginning is set to Uniform. Uh, mine was unchecked because I was just messing with it, but Uniform is typically what it's set to. And Uniform just moves everything, so no matter which grabby tool I grab, it uh, rotates everything, unif or scales everything uniformly. If I remove it, we can make a super chunk, Chris. Um, <laughs> that would print very interestingly. Uh, we'll go ahead and reset that. And free cut, uh, just like Prusa Slicer does have the free cut, but this one you can change uh, how it cuts in different angles and such and such. So if we change it to this funky angle and hit start cut and it cuts the model, we actually have two pieces. So check that out. We have a crazy, um, yeah, we have a crazy two model thing. Uh, we can also do some fun things like right click and we can do uh, lay uh, yeah lay flat and this thing is just like Prusa slicers you just have to find a triangle to work off of so you just click on any triangle and we know these are flat so apply and that laid it flat to the bed let's go back to view and there we go now we can totally print this two-piece Chris that is all messed up we do have universal undo, so command Z and command Z and command Z and command Z and keep going. There we go. We're back together again. We are, nope, we're still two pieces. Command Z. There we go. We are one piece. So our uh, undo is, uh, I don't know how infinite it is, but it looks like it works really well. We can undo about anything. Next up is supports. And if you remember awesome supports from S3D days, we have those. So if we click on the object and we're in the support menu, we can click manually add support and it's literally just place and drag. So if you want to support the bottom here or these ears, it'll actually show you all that. Um, let's go ahead and put that in that ear. So again, this is just like S3D, but cooler because uh, it's not S3D and didn't cost us whatever amount of money it costed. Costed. Um, clear supports because we don't need any. Uh, everything else is, you know, duplicate model. You can also go to right click to do that. So if we go to view and right click and duplicate, we can be like, oh man, I want three Chris's. There we go. We've now made four total Chris's by duplicating. They are not centered. What we do then is do a select all, which is just your control or command A. And we can go to the view menu, or no, model menu and arrange all models. And that We'll arrange it in the center of the bed. It does rotate some of them to make them fit better. So why does it? I don't know, but it did. So other than that, that's how we do that. Let's go ahead and back that up, back that up. We're back to one Chris. And then we go to start slicing. So let's go ahead and start slicing this Chris. We did select the SKR bear profile we started with. Your primary extruder is where you change your uh, flow rate. With this filament, I am at 96%. If you need to change it for your filament, do so. You can create multiple ones specifically to the filament. So if you wanted to make one for your, um, I don't know, uh, you know, you have some hatch box that is always um, under over extruding because it's, you know, poorly toleranced. Or if you have some amazing Jesse and it needs to be at 100% flow rate because it doesn't have any issues, you can do that. Uh, next up is selecting what you want to slice with. So let's go ahead. We're going to slice with S with the PLA profile. But if we double click it, when you normally start in here, it starts in simple mode like this. 
Advanced mode will allow you more options, so you can do things like changing how many shells you want. It's at two. Uh, you can also change your extrusion width and speeds and how much infill you want. So if I want 8% infill, I can just type in 8%. Um, it's however you want to do it. It's all good, but it's all set to go. Um, we don't need to mess with that, so we're just going to go ahead and hit slice. And it's done. It's ready to print. You can hit export, and it'll export this into whatever folder you want. I'm not going to export it because I'm not going to actually print this. Uh, we can also hit preview, and the preview will give you our awesome preview of all the layers and how it look. You can enable retractions. You can enable um, the travel moves so you can see those. So when you go through, there'll be little spots like, oh, man, look at that. There's the internal travel move and that little, that little red line right there. That's the retraction point for this model. So that is it. That is how we slice in Idea Maker. I uh, hope that got you, you know, the basics into it. And I'm going to delve in deeper into things like the supports and stuff like that and scaling and cutting. But for the most part, uh, this is perfect. You should be good to do your very first print now. I uh, hope that helps. If you need anything else, Throw those comments, you know, throw some comments in there. Let me know for what other videos you want to see for Idea Maker. Uh, I am no expert yet, but I'm getting there. I'm learning with you as well. But that was the first installment of Idea Maker. Well, not really the first, the second video in the Idea Maker series here. So hopefully that helps. And again, stay tuned for more.